All right, hello everybody. Um, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Mariam Abdelaziz Haq. I work with Bahrain Development Bank in the Development Services Division. My team is called the Rawad uh, team. So uh, I'm here today to talk about the Development Services, uh, about Bahrain Development Bank, and I'm going to focus on the development services offered uh, by the bank. So obviously, Bahrain Development Bank is concerned with SME development and growth. So we want to create small businesses and grow them into medium and larger size. So we do offer financial facilities such as loans. Um, we participate in the capital of the company. We offer so many products when it comes to financial support. But what I'm going to talk about today is the development services, and that is the non-financial support that is essential aside from the actual funding for the project. All right, so just to give you an overview, um, so the development services in an entrepreneurial division reaching out to the public in an effort to foster entrepreneurial, innovative, and enterprising society. So it's all about em uh, empowering, supporting entrepreneurs and SMEs to actually grow, um, to grow their businesses basically into larger scales. <coughs> so the mission and the vision here, our mission is to foster an entrepreneurial, innovative, and enterprising society. And when I talk about entrepreneurial, I'm talking about real, creating real entrepreneurs in Bahrain. And innovative, obviously, coming up with creative ideas, uh, becoming re revolutionary. We feel that this is very important for the growth of our economy, to have originality, revolutionary ideas that have long-term sustainability. And it doesn't have to be, uh, you know, uh, uh, a new in, uh, you know, uh, creation out of scratch. It could be just innovation and implementation of your project and how you grow it and, and those sorts of things. So it's a very broad term here. And obviously an enterprising society, uh, turning it into a company, a business that can sustain you and that can generate income for you and for the surroundings of your, of your um, life. <coughs> Our vision is to develop an entrepreneurial knowledge-based economy with quality growth and diversification. So we want to improve the knowledge level. We want people to uh, invest into uh, perfecting and mastering their professions and having different, d diversifying basically the, the economy that we have. Obviously, we depend a lot on oil and gas and natural resources, but in the end of the day, we do need to diversify in terms of the individuals. Us as individuals, we have a power, we have knowledge, we have a lot of potential that can be turned into good sources of income. So we want to focus on those as well. All right, so just to give you an overview of what are the services and the, the, that we offer or the schemes that we offer under the development division, <coughs> we have coaching and mentorship programs, business incubation, accelerator or training, uh, special training programs. We have a lot of development projects where we work with different uh, organizations in Bahrain to create SME-driven um, SME support driven initiatives basically. We have special schemes and we continuously, continuously do awareness campaigns where we're going to schools, universities, wherever we go we talk about entrepreneurship and having your own business. Okay, So, so this is uh, a major part of our daily uh, activities. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each and every one of those and I'm going to explain to you how you can actually benefit from these programs. All right, so <clears throat> before that as well, I'd just like to give you a, you know, a quick look at our partners. Uh, we have different partners, and our beneficiaries also benefit from linkages to these organizations. We have local organizations, uh, public ones, such as Tim Keen, uh, EDB, uh, Bahia International Circuit, Ministry of Education, Family Bank, GOIS, Chamber of Commerce, you name it. All um, uh, you know, uh, public authorities in Bahrain have uh, linkages with us. Local organizations that are private, private companies, uh, Tamir Business Park, Startup Bahrain, uh, in terms of publications and events and things like that, Bahrain Airport Company, KPMG, uh, <coughs> Unido, obviously, Tenmu, Zain, Batilko. So we have ties with those companies as well. Regional organizations, which is a plus point that we like our entrepreneurs to be exposed to. Saudi Industrial Development Fund, Mohammed bin Rashid Foundation, SME Dubai, um, Qatar Development Bank, WAMDA, you name it as well. So we have also some social and civic societies uh, such as uh, Bahrain Business and Professional Women Club, Bahrain Business Women's Society, Startup Bahrain, Isaac. Uh, we have also Youth uh, Pioneer Society, so there are plenty of those. International organizations that we're also linked to are the SBA, the Small Business Administration um, 
administration in the U.S., InfoDev, the World Bank. We also have ties with Mina Inc. for our incubator network, Microsoft, uh, PwC, etc. So I'm not going to take too long in the slide, but I just want you to get an idea that we have a reach in the region and the international market as well. Okay, <clears throat> so back to the services that we're offering. We have something called the reward program. So all of the um, services and the schemes that I mentioned earlier are offered in one comprehensive program called the reward program. So it is a comprehensive program designed to assist and empower entrepreneurs in starting their business. Okay, so not just starting, but also expanding and growing into bigger enterprises. So how did we uh, think of this reward program or what are the pillars of the reward program? We have two main pillars in the business model here, the entrepreneur's path and the seven stages of success. So <clears throat> from our experience in dealing with SMEs, we've noticed that obviously every SME goes through different stages of their business. So here you're starting at the idea stage. Okay, you need a different type of support there, a specialized kind of support, uh, maybe more of training, uh, a lot of coaching, um, you know, uh, a lot of support in the beginning. And then, okay, you've decided on your idea, now you're thinking about doing your business plan. Okay, how do you do that business plan? We have services that are tailored for that as well. And then you've, you're actually now starting your project. So what type of services do you need that? You're operating your business. You're growing. Maybe even you're, f you know, you're facing some difficulties like, uh, you know, financial distress or something went wrong with your project. So you need specialized kind of service there. So we've basically tailored all of the services under the reward program to suit those different stages that you're going through. All right. I'm going to go through that um, later on there's going to be a slide on the, the different stages in, in the entrepreneur's path basically. Another main pillar is the seven stages of success. So what we believe in is that we want every SME to start and to reach the ultimate stage of success which is reaching the international market even becoming a franchising brand for example. So what we've done is we want to link all of our services to those seven stages. Um, you can also refer to um, a book by Carl Gold that focuses uh, on those different stages. So starting by, for example, creating the, the concept, specializing in your business, and then um, doing your, your planning, for example. Uh, something called the, sa uh, the sandbox stage, where you're building up the team, uh, you're creating the foundations of the business. And then, okay, you've done that. Now you're starting to duplicate it into different maybe branches or you're just starting to repeat that process. It means that you have a stable foundation for the business. Then you create a success story in the, in the local, for example, scene. Yeah? And then, okay, once you've become successful, then here you can actually maybe start to franchise your business. You can even sell it off at a, at a very good, uh, for example, profit margin. So we want you to go within your business in those seven st stages of success. And this is how our products and services are tailored. So the aims of, uh, and objectives of having the reward program is to create a comprehensive platform to focus on the entrepreneur's need through specialized evaluation techniques. So we look at what stage you're at and we evaluate your current situation. So sometimes the entrepreneur would, would think, okay, I need funding, but actually when you look deep into the, the business itself and the, the entrepreneur himself, you'd see he might actually need some more training and refining the business idea before obtaining financing and maybe you know committing to um, financial commitments right so this is the thing we have specialized coaches certified coaches to do that sort of evaluation and then offer you the service accordingly uh, diversify our platform to meet the current and growing demand of entrepreneurs so there's different types of uh, our, our entrepreneur base in Bahrain is growing right mm -hmm. a lot of people are getting into business and their needs are kind of growing so we need to tailor to that as well Provide our services to entrepreneurs who are keen on personal and business development. So it's not only on the business development aspect. We aim also to develop the entrepreneur himself. And I'll, sh and I'll explain the methods that we use or the schemes for that. Be able to better identify entrepreneurs and innovative projects. So when we're closely working with them through this program, we can identify their stages of growth and which ones of those are actually on the right path, uh, innovative projects, and to celebrate them and to focus on them even more. Enhance the capabilities of existing entrepreneurs through growth programs. So the existing entrepreneurs, we want to grow them, develop them into growing their, their, um, their businesses into, for the next level. All right. 
So I was talking earlier about the entrepreneur's path. So in our uh, support, the reward program, we interact with entrepreneurs in different stages. So we start with the idea generation stage where you're just not so sure about the concept or you're, you're still trying to you know, refine your idea or even select one to begin with. Yeah? So we offer you support at that stage. Business planning stage. So I've, I've selected my business idea and now uh, I want to plan for it. I want to see, okay, how much money do I need? Um, what support do I need? Uh, do I need partners? Do I need technical assistance? Is it financial? So to know what, what's the action plan, right? So that's the business planning stage. Then you've done your business plan. Now you're in the processing stage so or documentation stage where you're applying for your commercial registration, where you're applying for your financing, um, you know, applying for the support you need, for example. So that's all the documentation phase. You're done with the documentation and now you're at the startup or operation stage where you actually operated the business and you're running your day-to-day -day activities. So now once you've passed that stage, you're running the business, then we aim that your next stage would be expansion or growth. Obviously, there's another stage here that wasn't mentioned, and that is it could be distress or um, you know, uh, issues facing the business as well, so decline, for example. So all of these stages are within our support, and this is where we interact with you as an entrepreneur. So I want you listening to this presentation, I want you to, f to identify which stage you're actually at, and then based on that, you can come to us with more awareness of, where you, of what support you might need. All right, so the award program, uh, we have three uh, main uh, pillars or three main bundles of support in the award program. We have something called the training and coaching. I'm going to get into that. We have incubation and we have funding. I'm going to explain to you what are the different schemes under those, under those three. Okay, so in order to benefit from the program, reward program, the first thing that we would normally do, we, we take it on three steps. First of all, introducing the ecosystem. So you'd come to us for an initial meeting where we'd sit with you and explain to you all the support that's available at BDB, Tim Keen, uh, some of the you know, legislation um, requirements. So basically give you an overview of what's happening in Bahrain and the starting steps for you. All right, and then we do an assessment of your needs. So we'd say, okay, we'd talk to you about um, what stage are you at? Uh, what have you accomplished so far? What are you aiming to accomplish? And based on that, we'd assess, okay, out of all these services, what works best for you or what will benefit you most and give you value at this stage? Finally is the support delivery. So after that initial meeting where we talk about everything, an overview, and then we do the assessment, then we'd say, okay, we recommend that you start with training, coaching, for example, and funding. So then we'd go right away and offer those services. So this is the system that we'd use when we um, interact with you as an entrepreneur. All right, so, <clears throat> so okay, we'll start with the first one, coaching and training. Um, so coaching, what is coaching? Coaching basically is uh, a one-to-one -one relationship that you would build with uh, one of our certified coaches in the team where we would have regular meetings to discuss what your goals are. What do you actually need to achieve those goals? And we put it in, into sort of an action plan. And your coach would be just with you uh, every step of that way to follow up and to also um, assist you whenever you need. So giving you some tools that you could use and empowering you to achieve the goals that you want to achieve. So that's, it's, it's a very focused program as well. So it's based on sessions and we offer different packages within our coaching program. So obviously when you first come in, we offer a plenty of services for free and then once you feel like coaching is a thing that you that you really require we have different very affordable packages for you to choose from and I recommend that you come to us at the bank to you know look at these different options and see what works for you all right so how would coaching benefit the entrepreneurs the service focuses on enabling and empowering entrepreneurs the coaching program aims at developing individuals to drive successful business so it could be relating to personal development, it could be relating you as an individual. Let me give you an example. Let's say uh, you want to learn about um, pitching to investors. You have funding, you have all the setup there, but you just need support to convince an investor of your idea. We have specific uh, training programs and we can also guide you as the coach to build up your skills to present better, to organize your ideas, to focus on that attractive element that will convince the investor to begin with. All right, so it, things like that. So that's the personal aspect. But when it comes to the business, it could be uh, the idea, the business plan, 
a financial plan, um, whatever it is, you know. So any issue that you have with the business, the coaching program can be very customized and tailored and focused for your needs. So that's, uh, that's the coaching. And these are the different areas that we support uh, you in the coaching program. So you have uh, business plan coaching, personal development coaching, as I mentioned, your personal, um, your characteristics, basically. Franchise coaching, if you feel like, all right, you've, in your entrepreneur's path, you've reached a stage where you can actually franchise your business. So we'll help you do that as well through our coaching program. Business or growth strategy. Some people have reached, okay, I'm on the verge of getting from the startup to the medium stage, and I need help to grow even more. How can I come up with growth strategies for my company? We can help you through that as well. And obviously, maybe the majority of our support goes to startup coaching because of the nature of the people that are approaching us. We have many projects that are just at the startup stage, and they need that kind of support. And another new uh, service that's going to be uh, very focused uh, during this year is export coaching. So let's say you're producing a product that is needed outside of the borders of Bahrain. So we could actually help you um, brand your product, uh, do the required uh, paperwork and documentation in order to uh, export your, um, your product, basically. And we're going to have an export development center that is specifically uh, you know, customized for export needs. That will include financial services and um, training and coaching support, you name it, the whole thing. All right, so this is when it comes to coaching. The next thing I'm going to talk about is training. So obviously, a lot of us, you know, you might be experienced when it comes to technical uh, knowledge, right? So you have technical knowledge, but you need some business knowledge as well. So I want to know, okay, what are the steps that I need to take before I start my business? Uh, how do I do a business plan? Am I ready to start this project or not? So we have training programs that can help you do that. So basically, um, we can help you in the following aspects. Testing your business idea, developing a business plan, help attract investment, as I said, through specialized trainings for that particular thing. Explore market opportunities. So as well, we allow you throughout our training programs to network with others. So that's another opportunity, etc. There are many benefits that we are offering. So I'll get right into the programs that we're offering in terms of training. We have two main programs at the moment. The entrepreneurship orientation program. This is a start. Um, this is like the starting point before you, uh, before you even get into the business. So, it's an, a general overview, where um, you'd get an idea about all the steps that you need to take before you start, and a, a general overview of every all the elements. Like for example, idea generation, business plan, financial plan, uh, marketing. For example, uh, we'd also have sessions from the uh, Investor Center, Bahrain Investor Center, where they talk about how to obtain your CR, what are the requirements, what are the rules, okay? And we have Tim Keen coming in, Bahrain Development Bank, talking about all the support services. So by the time you're done with this program, you have a general overview, a general idea of what you need to do before you start, and what are the requirements to do that. So it's, it's like the, the first push, like a refreshment before you start. Then we have the Rewad Specialized Workshops, and we're going to be focusing on this a lot during 2016, where we would develop a workshop specifically for your requirements. So let's say you want to, um, you have business background, but you have a weakness in financial planning, for example, or budgeting, or pricing, let's say. So we'd have a workshop just for that. And how you would, uh, you would apply for this is basically when we sit with you in the initial meeting and the assessment, we would say, okay, these are the trainings we have, and you would provide us with your input. Let's say uh, you tell us, okay, I'm, I need financial planning support. We develop a specific workshop, a detailed one for that itself. All right, and, and there are different elements. So it's based on the demand, actually. It's based on your need. You convey it to us, and we'll deliver a specific workshop for that. All right, we also have special training programs, and this right here is one of the very unique programs that, is, um, that we're doing in Bahrain and that is also being recognized in the region. It's called Technopreneur Bahrain. So Technopreneur Bahrain is a special program. It's an accelerator program. So what is an accelerator program? So the, the applicants that come into uh, this program, it's dedicated to ICT, by the way, so uh, information and communication technology. So anybody with an ICT idea can apply for this program and you'd go through different phases. Your first phase would be training. 
So obviously you'd first have to pitch for a, com uh, a panel of judges and the panel of judges would assess, okay, is your idea unique enough and are you as an entrepreneur um, having that potential to grow into actually starting your project? So that's number one. So once you cross that phase, then uh, you're selected for the program. Once you're selected, you receive uh, a training program that helps you with all the aspects of the business. We talk about business topics. We even include some technical uh, uh, topics as well w relating to ICT and partnership with Microsoft and mar uh, partnership with uh, Bahrain Polytechnic and partnership with different uh, trainers from the, uh, from the local market who are specialized in areas that are very beneficial for ICT projects. So after you cross the training stage, you pitch one more time in front of the judges. And if you're selected for the next stage, then you would receive one-to-one -one coaching. So one-to-one -one coaching is very focused to help you finalize your business plan, develop your financial model, um, prepare basically for actually starting the business. The final stage is that you would pitch uh, in front of the committee for the very last time or the panel of judges to receive investment. Um, and this investment is... Uh, jointly uh, provided by Bahrain Development Bank and the e-government authority. So it's a joint program between both entities and by the end of the program you can actually receive funding for your project. So we'd select winners and the, ju the judges basically would select the winners and those winners would receive several awards. Your first award is equity participation. So the bank becomes a partner in your project uh, owning up to 20% maximum and our role would be more of the development, support. Um, we'd be on the board level and not necessarily involved in the day-to-day -day operations. But it's more of a push, really. So that's one thing. And another thing is you'd receive a one-year um, incubation for free. And I'm going to talk about incubation later, but it's basically an office space for you to start your business and register your company for free. And that's going to be for 12 months. After that, of course, that's... Uh, jointly supported by Bahrain Development Bank and by uh, the e-government authority who are also funding parts of that office space. Uh, and after that, of course, we'd be uh, charging you our very affordable rates as well for the space that you're using. And I'm going to talk about that in the incubation parts of this presentation. Obviously, during this program, we'd link you also to a mentorship program where we'd have um, industry experts, uh, people who are willing to dedicate some time to support you in your business. So we'd link you to different mentors and they'd help you throughout um, the business, whether it's during the program or even after, depending on the relationship you build with them. So this is one of our very unique uh, programs. We've had two batches of this. We've had batch one in 2014 and batch two in 2015. We've had a total of six winners that have received their awards. All right, so next we have incubation. What is incubation? Um, if, I mean, when we talk about medical terms, when a baby is born and they have, for example, a medical issue or um, they're not 100% healthy, they put them in an incubator, right, in the hospital. So the incubator's role is to just give them that push to, you know, to be healthy and to be normal. And then after that, once they're fine, they're out of the incubator and they're functioning like normal kids. So this is exactly the concept of incubation when it comes to business incubation. We offer you a space to start your company, to register your business, to start your operations, and we provide you with a bundle of support services that include coaching, that include training, that include uh, even office, um, shared office facilities, such as, for example, a boardroom where you can have meetings with important um, customers or clients. You could have, we have also a conference room where you could rent it for any presentations you want to do or training programs that you have. So, and they're, they're actually for free until, you know, there's a limit for the number of times you can use it for free, and then you'd pay a small fee for that afterwards. So, and also, you become part of our network. You become within our family, the Rawad family, basically, and Bahrain Development Bank family. So we link you to all kinds of supports, networking events. We link you to international competitions, and we've seen companies grow from the startup stage from zero all the way to growth and expansion and now we see them successful and known in the market so the incubation program offers you this package for three years where it, it's jointly supported by Tim Keen as well you'd pay one BD per square meter in the first year two BD per square meter on the space you're getting the second year and three BD for the third year 
and Temkin are paying a fixed rate of 2 BD per square meter every year. Of course, there are different types of, of schemes under this program, and there are certain criteria. If you qualify for this criteria, then obviously you would benefit from this uh, program. We have pre-incubation spaces as well, which means that you can, it's a short-term uh, contract, you can have a small office um, to maybe do your market research or officialize your operations until you have your CR, for example. So after that one year, you could graduate from the pre-incubation program and then get into the incubation program, where that's the three-year package, where you also get support for three years. Once you've crossed the next three years, you, you have the option to stay as an enterprise center, which means that the rent is going to be raised to match the market. So the aim of this program is to give you that push in the first three years, and then naturally you would graduate from the program and exit into the market. You can find any other place, and at that time you would be uh, stronger and able to sustain that financially. Another option is, as I mentioned, becoming an enterprise center where the rates are a bit higher, but you could also benefit from the, from the place and from the support services offered. Uh, as you can see here, we have um, many incubators. We have Rukin. Rukin is the ICT incubator. Uh, it's basically dedicated to ICT projects, information and communication technology projects. The style of this is you have an open area with cubicles and small office spaces for you to start, and you can get uh, registered um, in that uh, space. We also have isolated offices where you can get your CR as well. In addition to all the support services that I mentioned earlier, such as coaching, training, etc. We have the Bahrain Business Incubator Center, and that is a mixed incubator where we have industrial units. Uh, it's in the, um, in the dry dock area, so it's kind of an industrial area. We have different types of businesses there. We have retail businesses, food businesses, we have um, industrial units, workshops, etc. You name it, they're all there. We have Riyadat. I don't know if you, if you know of Riyadat, but it's basically the Women Incubator Center. In partnership with the Supreme Council for Women, we're offering spaces, and it, it's actually, it looks like a mall, but it's an incubator at the same time. So you display your products. You can have a workshop and display your products in a mall sort of setting and uh, with a, uh, the affordable rates that I mentioned earlier. We have some other incubators coming up as well. I'll go through that as well. Um, this is uh, just a glimpse of Rukin. You have the workstations, the open space. You have the common area, just, you know, open seating area, lounge area to work and feel free and just refresh yourself. And of course, you have the closed offices. Farmer's market. So we were talking about agriculture support. Um, and this is a, a specialized cluster, we would call it, or a specialized incubator to support farmers, local farmers, to develop themselves, to brand their products, to package them well. So it's going to be a, an, um, an agriculture ecosystem to encourage and revitalize an important sector in Bahrain, which is the food security sector, obviously. So this, this incubator has not been uh, launched yet. It's in the construction phase. It will have coffee shops. It will have... Uh, flower shops, it will have spaces for farmers basically to sell their, their local produce. And it's going to also include an information center to educate people about agriculture, the importance, how can you get into it, etc. So all in all, and as well, um, it's going to have a, a huge play area for kids where it's, it's just green. So basically to create more awareness about agriculture in Bahrain and just enrich this, uh, this sector, this uh, hidden sector. So this hopefully will be launched within this year, 2016, maybe beginning of 2017, but uh, you could, I mean, stay tuned for that until we announce it. Another specialized incubator where we cluster different businesses is the Arts Cluster. And this is going to be held at the um, Endelus Garden. So we know that Endelus Garden, unfortunately, is totally abandoned. It's such a beautiful place, but it's not being properly utilized. So what we thought of doing is basically using all the shops there to rent them to artists local artists who need a space to start. They want to display their, their products, for example, their paintings, their artwork, right? And it's not just the idea of just displaying their products. It's actually making them utilize their talents and their innovation in actually making money so they can become financially sustainable. They can support the growth of the economy through the um, arts and the beautiful work that they're doing. 
So that was the idea behind the arts cluster, and hopefully that is going to be launched very soon. Um, we've already had plenty of applicants for this who are in the process of starting up their businesses. So stay tuned for that as well. All right, so funding. We talked about coaching training, we talked about incubation, and now we're talking about funding. So we do have uh, some uh, financial support through our specialized programs. We have two main schemes that are grants, where we give you actual money to, to start your project. We have something called the Pre-Seed Capital Scheme, and that is a grant up to 5,000 BD that's supported by BDB and Tenkin. And uh, that goes basically to the development of your prototype. So let's say you are creating, um, you're, you've come up with a new concept or totally new product idea. And you need some components to put it together and to test it, see will it actually work? Is it a commercially viable project product or not? So sometimes people don't have that money to actually get started and they have an innovative idea. So out of our initiative to support innovation, we've thought, okay, let's provide you with that grant to put in all the components that you need, software, hardware, if it's ICT oriented, uh, ingredients, whatever you need to do it, and to put it all together and create your prototype and then start testing that with the aim that eventually you'd have a, a CR and actually start your project with this new invention. So that's, that's one scheme jointly supported by Tim Keen and by BDB. Also the um, feasibility study scheme. So let's say you're starting a new project that, that is uh, totally new to the region or totally new to Bahrain that requires specialized consultancy to, to develop a feasibility study to decide whether I should invest into this sector or not. So we would link you to, so basically you can approach the, the top four um, accounting firms such as KPMG, BDO, Jawad, Habib, uh, you have uh, PricewaterhouseCoopers, uh, Ernst & Young. So those top firms, they provide you with a feasibility study professional one, but it would cost you a lot of money. So this scheme is basically supporting 50% of the, um, the cost of the study up to 5,000 BD. And that is uh, basically supported by BDB and Tim Keen as well. So let's assume the study will cost you 10,000, so we would provide you with five, and you would have to pay the remaining five. If the study would cost us, say, 20,000, our cap is 5,000 BD, so that is a grant that you're getting and you would need to you know, finance the remaining of it. So those two schemes are grant programs where you don't have to pay the bank back for that money. It's just a boost to support you. We also provide funding in terms of equity, but small scale. So I was talking about being a partner in your company. We can do that for a m an amount up to 20,000 dinars, or 20 to 25,000 dinars maximum, where we'd be a partner in your project, help you through our coaching, advisory, and all that kind of support and also help you grow the company as you go. All right, the different areas of funding that we offer. Um, idea generation, and that's when I was talking about the pre-seed and uh, feasibility study schemes. Research and development, operations, expansion and growth, sustainability and maturity, you're in the maturity stage. Decline or distress, sometimes when you have a problem with the business, we try to work out financing solutions for you. So those, those are the ele elements of funding that we offer. All right, so looking at the schemes that we're offering, we have partners and different partners in Bahrain that are supporting us in offering these services. So in terms of funding, we have obviously Tim Keen on board, uh, e-government authority for the Technopreneur Program, networking investors. We also have ties with investors that provide financing for startup companies. In terms of coaching and training, Tim Keen are on board, Bahrain Polytechnic, e-government authority and Ministry of Education. For incubation, we have different partners as well. Tim Keen in terms of financial support, agriculture affairs for the farmers market, Supreme Council for Women for the for Riyadat, and BPW, which is the Bahrain uh, Business and Professional Women uh, Club. We have uh, another incubator for crafts uh, crafts people who have a craft and want to turn it into a business. So we've created an incubator for that as well. All right. So the benefits of this program, I think by the time you reach this part of the presentation, I hope that you would you know, understand the benefits of the program through uh, the different schemes that we offer. So the main benefits are to understand and tackle the changing needs of entrepreneurs. So you've seen that starting the business, you'll go through different phases. So this program will help us as service providers and you as an entrepreneur to know the changes in these needs. 
educate and coach entrepreneurs by giving them necessary tools for success. So tailoring, again, the, the tools that we're offering for your success. Track the entrepreneur's progress and development. This is one of the, the most important ones as well because we maintain a long-term relationship with you in the reward program. And we'd monitor your growth and actually push you towards the right steps to get to that stage of development and growth uh, and success, hopefully. All right, so I think that's it for me. Um, if you feel like you, you'd like to contact us anytime to benefit from any of our programs, whether the financial support or development services and all the training and all the coaching and, and funding and incubation that we have, you can contact uh, me on these contact information. I'm Maryam Ishaq. Uh, email, telephone, and we have a website that's going to be launching very soon. So thank you very much, and I hope it wasn't a very long presentation. I hope this was useful, and I hope I see you guys very soon. Thank you very much.